how did how did my education in school help my uh, employability? It's really interesting. You need the school and the work. The school um, lays the groundwork of you, your self efficacy, your self security, being assured yourself that you can do the work. So it gives you that first initial um, a feeling of that you can do the work. And then the skills at work um, helps you solidify that you can apply these um, knowledge that you gain from school at, at real time and be applicable. To compare the difference between learning the employability skills at school versus in real life is completely um, different. Um, in schools, you have time to prepare, to ask questions, to make mistakes. But in the workplace, you only have one shot. Um, so for me, it was very helpful in learning these skills at school and in preparing them for the real working environment. And when it comes to the employability skills associated with King work, for me personally, you know, it started in school. And oftentimes you'll get put on a project with a team and you'll find out really quickly in those kind of dynamic situations that it's a lot more fun and a lot more um, productive if you're working together really well as a team. And I recall many years ago um, in a college setting with uh, where we had to work as a team to get a specific project done. And it was, it was a difficult project, but the fact that we all contributed to it and worked together made it, made it work and made it a lot of fun. You're not going to start off the best. You, you, you will be for sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe not even up to your own standards for first starting. So relying on people to help you out, teach you and just continue on uh, doing what you do in the workplace is incredibly important. So in the workplace, um, I adjusted my behavior and my teamwork mostly because the professionalism really has to show during the workplace. I believe that carrying yourself a certain way and your demeanor and your attitude in the workplace really goes a long way for those around you. It kind of, it's very contagious to have. So in my case, I think school gave me the foundation that I needed to really begin learning employability skills. Um, in both high school and in college, I was in an educational environment where, um, for instance, if class started at 8 a.m., that meant you were in your chair with your paper and your pencil out at 8 a.m. You weren't walking in, you weren't pulling your books out, et cetera. And that foundation of assuming that I was ready for anything that came my way and I was ready in advance five minutes early was one of the most helpful things that I learned about employability skills and that I carried with me. A good thing that Tesla wants us to be doing is showing up 15 minutes before a shift, ensuring that everything we need to be successful for the day is already taken care of. So as soon as that clock hits the time for us to start, we're ready to get going and be as productive for the day as possible. I definitely, I very distinctly remember uh, when I first realized how important communication was in science and engineering. Um, it was probably freshman or sophomore year in college. <clears throat> I was pursuing a degree in physics. And at, at that time, I think I, I thought um, the language of mathematics was the only thing that I would need to do to be successful uh, as a physicist. Um, but I had a professor, one day he was introducing a, um, a term project and he just stood up and said directly, the quality of your writing and communication um, on this project uh, is just as important as the research itself. Um, and, and he really meant it. What I really learned, I think, so I took this physics class and it, and it focused heavily on, on writing and that just kind of really opened my eyes um, to the value of communication in science and technology. Um, and, and I think I went on to extend this idea of clear structured communication uh, to other areas of communication, like giving presentations or even um, informally discussing technical ideas.
my first job when I was a uh, young engineer, I came in and, and you're not sure you come out of school and you're not sure what to expect. Um, and, um, and you get, you know, we all have a, a supervisor, a manager that we, we don't know. Um, uh, we don't know what their expectation, expectations are. Um, and depending on who you get, um, sets kind of your path. You know, I think probably one of the biggest shifts in my career is when I started in management. And it's really interesting when you start doing that because now you're, you're responsible for more than just yourself. You're responsible for a team and a group of people. And you're really responsible for making sure that not only do you succeed as a, as a, as a group, but that each individual is also succeeding uh, as they grow and learn on the job. My, my supervisor and my manager is willing to help me along and sometimes even communicate as a third party for me to make sure that I get what I need. On the job, it's where I got the best feedback about how, you know, what I was doing and how I could improve it. Um, whether that was communication, whether that was, you know, certain professional behaviors in meeting settings, learning about the difference between um, engaging with your colleagues and your leadership, things like that.